Hey there, after my summer break, I'm finally back with another video and today we are going to color in one of the pages of this coloring book that I found and we're gonna have some fun with that. So here's the coloring book that I picked for this challenge and a quick flip through of all of the pieces. There are so many gorgeous pieces in there and I even colored in one of them off camera and I will probably color some in in the book with some markers, just no pressure whatsoever, just because it's fun and I don't know, this reminds me of my childhood and of having fun, enjoying coloring. So here's the picture that I picked for today and I tried to copy it with my printer but uh, it did a semi-decent job at that. I picked the one that looked a little bit better and then I put some graphite onto the other side. So whenever you want to transfer your sketch to a different paper, this is the way to do it. You can also do that with with these coloring uh, pages when you have line art somewhere and you want to transfer it and you don't have a blueprint paper I'm using the Arches watercolor paper and I taped it on there so that it would stay secure or at least I thought it would and so I used some washi tape and just taped it on there and then I started transferring the sketch or the line art basically and then after a while I realized that tape wasn't sticking anymore here you can see it and it was moving and that was basically a lost cause because I was sure that I couldn't place it on there again and I've seen so many youtubers do this challenge and <laughs> They all seem to have this problem. So I did it again off camera. I taped it on really well. Also put tape on the back side of the paper and kind of wrapped it around and really secured it so that it just could not move anymore. And then I did that off camera just because it was a little bit easier. And so I started coloring in the piece. And I saw this challenge first on Timmy Danso's Tammy Danso Art I think is the name of her channel and I loved it so much what she did with the coloring pages that she picked and she has done a bunch of those videos now she's more of a realistic portrait style um, but I really love her videos and so credit to her because that was the place where I first saw it but since then I've seen a bunch of youtubers actually do this and I'm probably already late to this trend and now that I took a summer break for a few weeks I'm even more late than I would have been but who cares now I'm doing this and I picked this beautiful piece of this deer which is kind of close to something that I would create myself a line art that I would probably create maybe a little bit less in this mandala mandala, mandala style uh, but the deer itself uh, that's something let's just say that the motif is something that I would pick just the stylized version with the bigger head and everything I will probably not have the exact same style as that but I thought that it would really be fitting with something that I would love to paint and then I picked a color scheme I didn't want to go overboard with the colors so I decided that I would do green purple and teal and pink so those are basically all of the colors that are in this piece and orange obviously <laughs> more of a warmer orange you're gonna see that later the deer has that color I don't know you tell me if you think that that looks like a professional artist did it or if it's just a slightly better looking version maybe of a regular coloring book page I don't know but what I do know <laughs> is that I had fun with this and really enjoyed it because 
it is, even though I put some pressure on myself, it is a lot less pressure when you already have the line art and when you have a starting point and something that you can start off from and you don't start with a blank page. So if you are feeling like you are in a rut and you're not coming up with any ideas and it's really hard to get some line art on the paper then this is probably a really good option to just get going get creative again and just do something and enjoy it you just have to give yourself permission to actually do this I think that's the hardest part for me because then I'm like yeah that's not my line art so it feels almost like I'm cheating at art but I'm I'm a strong believer that you can't cheat at art and also if you if you transfer line art I feel like that's not cheating because art is not a game it's not a competition so why would it even be considered cheating but also on the other hand I grew up with this idea that you have to create your own artwork and everything has to be yours and you have to be able to draw and to sketch so all of these ideas are in my head but I don't really agree with them is what I'm trying to say so it's possible to have something in your head and not agree with it just because you grew up with it and it's still there and it still bothers you to an extent even though you don't want it to I think that's the most normal thing ever especially as an artist when we hear so many things growing up that are often quite harmful to the creative process in the end and we start to put so much pressure to, on ourselves and I'm aware that a lot of that has come from the outside and what I have learned and so I'm trying not to listen to that too much not to listen to that inner critic or the voice in my head that tells me that I'm not allowed to do something like this and use the line or art that someone else did or just color in a coloring page I'm trying not to listen to that voice because that takes away all the fun and that takes away the point of doing it in the first place so those were all of the things that were going on in my head while I was doing this and also I have to say that I'm so happy to be back on YouTube now after my break I really needed that break and I was going through a lot to be honest emotionally I had to work through a lot just with my emotions and the grief and deal with a bunch of things and I have to say that I didn't really feel like I was up to something didn't really have energy or motivation or anything and now I'm slowly coming back and I'm so happy to be here again to have this consistent upload day again. I might be trying some new things on my YouTube channel so you might see those in the future. I'm considering doing real-time paint with me videos in addition to my usual content or just instead of the usual content because I can't create a million videos but yeah, I'm trying to figure out ways to do something new and to add something fun to this channel. So I'm motivated as well. And yeah, so that's what's going on behind the scenes. And I have a lot of ideas. I've been working on a bunch of things and you'll see them soon. And I'm very excited for all of that. And also, a fun fact, by the way, super random, I recently got an ADHD diagnosis. So now I finally know for sure that I have it. I've been considering it for a long time. I've been battling with myself whether I should get a diagnosis or not. And this has been a thing for a while and now I have an official diagnosis finally I already knew that I was struggling with a lot of things and now I can put a name onto it and I feel like a lot of artists probably have ADHD in a way it makes us more creative I think but it makes it a lot harder to actually fil finish art pieces and that's something that I had to learn to actually be consistent and finish stuff and a lot of things are a lot harder than it would be for neurotypical people and I'd love to share a little bit more about that in the future 
maybe give some tips once I'm feeling better myself. Now at the moment, I don't really feel like giving advice, but I will probably get into that more again in the following weeks. And yeah, I'd love to hear your stories. Maybe some of you do have ADHD or something else. Also, de depression can really hinder us from creating stuff. And I've been there and I know what it's like. I have a bunch of mental health stuff. And yeah, I'd love to hear your stories and maybe even your advice. If you are struggling with something and have overcome it, then I would love to hear your advice. But please don't give advice if you can't relate to the struggle. I'm kind of sick of neurotypical people telling me to just get over my ADHD symptoms because that's not how it works. So there's that. Here you can see that I added in a background and I was really uh, going back and forth with the idea for the background I wasn't really sure what to do with it and then I added in those leaves and wanted them to blend in with the water and do this wet and wet technique and from this point I thought that it was getting worse and worse to be honest I really didn't like it at that point I liked the middle section but I didn't like the background and so I was really thinking about what I could be doing with it and also for the line art I just used colored pencils I think in this case I used watercolor pencils because if you use them you can still blend them in so I love them because if if you are adding texture and then later on decide the texture is too harsh then you can just blend it you don't have to erase it but just be aware that if you blend it obviously it will get a little bit darker you will have the pigment on there but I think that that's such a nice technique and then I used a Posca pen to do an outline of all of that and I thought I'd do a second outline of that and I was really considering what I would do with the background let's just say that and here's the second outline and I thought hey that looks so much better already it makes it look so much more interesting and then I decided to add those dots and I was just going from there and just adding in more and more and at the end it turned out to be a mandala style here you can see more of it and how it came together and I think that it really fits the piece that it is because it is in this kind of mandala mandala I never know how to say that in English in this style and so these outlines kind of fit together with it because they're sym symmetrical or at least as symmetrical as I could get them and they're still different from the main piece so there's still the background and I'm really happy with how it looks now and uh, it's something different, uh, something that I wouldn't have created otherwise, but I think it fits the artwork that I usually create because it's colorful and vibrant and it's really playful. And so this is the finished piece. Let me know if you enjoyed this and maybe I will do another part of these. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.